spot of the day. We're on a marathon hunt. Here's a field. The old soda works. Harry's here. Bill. And the old oak tree. And I have a key. It has glass on the outside of maybe lead. A little glass tip. I don't know what. Napa Valley's oldest city park. A lot of these trees were donated by the clubs of the valley as early as 1929. So this tree here was donated in 1929 to this park by the Napa Seminary Club, May 1929. Standoff over here. This guy wants to sit and picnic with the squirrel. is like scaring them. He wants what's in his bag. He's chasing that guy away. Literally. He's like, where are you going? I'm gonna get you, buddy. I'm gonna chase you. That is funny, is he chasing you? Squirrel! He's coming right for you. What you? Still at the park. There's so many targets here. Most of it is garbage. And more garbage and more garbage. And I have another coin. It is a nickel. It's looking like in 1986. We've just, we have spotted a quest for details creature in its natural habitat. Who knows what they're doing. Here we are, this is the William Solomon Park, dedicated to, I guess, a mayor of Napa. Um, many other community services for 55 years. So, they made this park for him. Nate caught up with us, there he is, pulled in. Harry's there, Bill has found a wad of coin over by the curb. We've all lived here for 50 years, but can't remember what was in this lot. And I have just found a quarter, which is the best coin of the day, except for the 69 penny I just found was the oldest. The 82, right next to the quarter, I see. Well, I did see a green penny. Coin of the day, 1967. It's definitely a spill. This is uh, one, two, three, four, four. This is five. 1987. I think it's a silver coin. In my dreams. I saw silver. Let me pop it out. Oh. Oh. Well, I got something over here. It's not a coin, but it's kind of a relic. Popped out of the hole. I had to go get the camera. It's a little latch. See that? But it still moves. Isn't that awesome? Many people have been sitting under this tree through the years. But I did find something cute. Up the island? 
Hold on. Right there, but what's that? We're ending in two T's and an O or whatever? Like here? patio or something? Oh, it's too big. Maybe our lucky penny. It says the 81. I just pulled this out of the hole, I believe it's the side of an older lock. Yep, ultra. Don't have my glasses. There's mine, sweet. Are they my eye loop? No. Eye loop. Yeah, it's just copper pipe. Okay. But it's good for a raised heart beat. Yep. It is a watch. And it's got a name in there. It looks like it's got gold. Uh, looks like it's got gold hands and stuff. That looks pretty fancy. There's like a lion running in there. Base metal case, stainless steel back. Orient. It's an Orient and it has gold lions holding a shield and embossed letters and gold hands. And the strips. And I just found that. It's like one half of a little coin purse. You blend in. Springtime, dude. Down to a racing mode now. And we're uh, by foundations of an older building, but these were also the stages of uh, some reggae festivals that went on and stuff. So we're hunting around a little bit. And no sign of uh, the mom. She's down the hill somewhere. But a lot of pennies so far and not much else. A lot of activity here over the years. So we'll see what we get. And Neil Young has left Bottle Rock. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm going to go ahead and... This is my best find of the day. I went ahead and autographed it with my digger. 1958 D. United States of America Wheat Sand. Looks pretty good. Nineteen ninety nine ten cent piece. Here's a really great example of um, how trees pass all their nutrients and water and life on the outside of their bodies. You can see here this is just one tree, but it uh, got some sort of rot on its inside pith. There's the pith on the inside. And this is its living tissue here. And uh, so that's the little thin layer. You have bark on the outside, which is basically like skin. And it's always dying off and building up and building up to protect the inside, like calluses or our layers of skin. And you have just this thin little layer, which is right in here. And that's where all of the vessels are and everything. And then the inside is basically cellular growth to add strength and and uh, help hold the whole creature up itself, you know, like our bones. Um, but it has lost that and it's still alive and you'll see this often in older trees. And you can see it actually curling over here so that's it wrapping inside of its wound until these two surfaces can touch and then they'll grow together and become one. But I mean, it's doing okay, even with a 
circle of Roundup sprayed around it each time. Whenever you see that, that's an herbicide that the park tenders have been spraying around trees. And it's not their favorite thing. And it exposes all the roots to UV rays and stuff. But it also allows us to pick up ground scores. I'm kind of going through the little day-use campground areas. We just had a huge rock and roll festival in the valley here. And uh, this is where a lot of the overflow stays. So, And the people at the gate seemed complete. It was a pretty uh, cheap day-use fee and then uh, lots of grounds to wander. Lunch break. Lunch break. Sitting down, they got all the little perfect tables here and everything. Everybody just left behind their garbage and stuff, but it's like being somewhere right as the festival ends instead of getting kicked out. We get to just wander around and collect. So, it's pretty cool. And there were some hungover looking people driving out of here, so who knows what got dropped. Uh, endless signals, and I'm not complaining, but they're all coins. This is one of those crushed uh, pennies, which is actually pretty cool. Lagoon, Wild Mouse Lagoon, wherever that was. Somebody on a road trip lost their little penny. Yeah. <laughs> Got the silver of the day, can I? <laughs> There's 925 inside. <laughs> A big, nice rose, too. That's a chunk of silver. Uh, four inches. Wow, down that deep, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a good target, uh, but I've been digging everything. Nice, uh, nice rose ring, though. That's classic. That's pretty. It's a hefty little ring, too, for a silver ring, you know? Yeah, I didn't think it was silver because it was so weird. I scrubbed mud, and so I have soap and water, and I scrubbed it and scrubbed it with the toothbrush. It won't shine up. No, it's a... Uh, it's but it says 925. I found numbers in there somewhere. That is awesome. <laughs> Look at that. A chunk. I know. Because what were you doing? Digging every signal? Yes. 1962. One cent. I found a piece of jewelry and a type of ring. Mine's the earring. Got a little bit of weight to it, but... uh. Just clad silver. But hey, there's a message for today. How often does that happen? I found the lock with the little key in it. And it's a Brinks. Well, I'm so annoyed with the wind right now, I'm not trying to shoot very much. We're out here just still hunting away. I pulled this little bell out of the ground. I think it's cute. Might even have its little dinger still in there. So, on we go. I know they've had some luck because I heard some hooting and hollering and stuff, but I'm not going to look. Maybe now I can. I found something just like popped up. These are right here in this stretch. Oh my god, look at that ring. 1943 Mercury, and it's pretty crisp condition still. Yep. Kind of surprising. It came out of the hole almost four inches down, looking just like that. Wow, good work. Well, it's clay soil. I think it's real. Yeah, and it's got, let's see, right in there, you might be able to see it. Yeah, it's 14 K K with a, oh, like yeah. a triangle with a. It's a P in a pair. Yeah. Wow. White gold maybe? I don't know. It looks yellow on the inside and white on the outside. I, at first I thought it was a bottle cap or something because all I saw was the silver looking glint and then the center fell out. And I'm like, oh, nice job. I'm telling you. Yeah, about 20 foot over there. <laughs> oh, congratulations. I'm going to keep hunting. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, yeah. So my knees won't push me off the ground anymore. <laughs> <sighs> and of course, a pocket full of 
nickel, dimes, quarters, and pennies for all newer stuff. Ditto. Mm -hmm. Okay, mama. Uh oh. <clears throat> uh, sometimes female deers are actually more likely a charger than a mountain lion, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's okay, mama. Um, I did find this one bullet casing today. Um, assorted melted metals. A lot of uh, here's a snap with leather on both sides of it here. Uh, I had these hook things, probably from old tent things. Quite a few nails, even though I had my discrimination on, but I was digging them anyway. I had uh, three, two 1969 pennies, and one 1971, and two nickels, not old, not old. Uh, 1968 quarter, though. I found the back of an earring, um, battery cable, connector, this is the bracelet I found, but not really, it was a hunk of a pipe, but when I thought all was lost, I found a very nice silver ring, it says 925 in it, I cleaned it up. Got all the mud out of it, and it really is a cute, well-made little silver ring. Four inches deep. But a good time was had by all. Well, this is what I found today. We can start with that. Lagoon, so it's uh, the Wild Mouse Lagoon. I don't know when or where that was. Maybe, hopefully, somebody out there can tell us. It was a place, and they crushed pennies. And probably before 1983 because it's a copper penny but that's just a guess found a piece symbol earring it's heavy but I do not think it's actually silver because it looks a little tarnished up that's not a ring neither is that but they were exciting here's our lock it's actually a Brinks so I'm gonna put oil in it we'll see if we can get it to come back to life because it had the key with it which is bizarre um, bomber sorry to whoever Drove away without that attached to something. This is our garbage, my garbage. That tricked me. These are 25 cent pieces, quarters. So we got like one dollar, two dollar, three dollars. These are all dimes, 10 cent pieces. And then these are all pennies, one cent pieces, just stacked up. And there's actually a lot of copper. Uh, pennies made before 1983 when we changed over to zinc as the metal in here. Uh, this holds down the tablecloth in the wind and that's basically what I found. Um, okay, so I lost the rest of the footage somehow so my dad's clean up with his gold ring and the dime are gone off into the universe who knows where. Um, Thank you all for joining me on this little adventure. I hope that it wasn't too chaotic jumping from spot to spot. Just making the most of uh, traveling short distances and hitting multiple hunting locations. And here is some footage of a sunset yesterday evening that was beautiful. Thank you for joining the quest for details. Remember, you can support the channel by subscribing, commenting, sharing, and liking it if you liked it. Don't forget that on the quest for details homepage, if you click on the videos, then it will take you to all of the videos that I've posted in the past. They're all still there saved, and there's quite a few of them, and they grow every day. Uh -huh.